One of the very popular and common ways of thinking about um, faith today is seen in, in the famous book by Steven Pinker. He's a Harvard psychologist. He wrote a book called The Better Angels of Our Nature. And in the opening chapter of that, he says, basically, religion, just like the new atheists that like Hitchens and Dawkins have said, is that religion poisons everything. Um, if you look at the Bible, there's just tons of violence in it. And um, it's only a um, inspiration for sort of small minded, um, anti pluralistic um, violence um, of, of just kind of backwards thinking people. And um, I've, I see that's a pretty conventional view of, of religion and violence today. Um, you find that Pinker was even used at the United Nations uh, National Security Port, uh, National Security Report. And um, that way of looking at religion, I think, is very much upended by the way Gerard um, speaks about what is going on with religion. Gerard says that there are two major kinds of religion. For one, there are archaic forms of religion, which are found in tribal societies and archaic states. And those are the forms of religion that are completely wound in with and interwoven with the state and its police. And religion and politics in that kind of ancient form, they're all tied together. And so in that ancient kind of politics, religion contains violence. Um, it's a part of the structure of society. It's like the police and it's like the state. And Gerard says biblical religion roughly speaking, is an attempt to exit from that ancient form of religion. And so what it's doing at the vanguard of that way of thinking is to escape from trying to think in terms of violently sacrificing um, the other. And he says, alternatively, it says that is a very dangerous thing to do. And so that will involve self-sacrifice. So Gerard's point is that there are, that's a different kind of religion altogether. Um, and if anything, that type of religion might make the world more dangerous, partly because it's no longer participating in that which holds back and restrains violence violently. So Christ's entirely nonviolent approach is something of a danger, but not at all a danger in the way that Steven Pinker says. It's a danger because there's something scary about um, teaching us to live without sacrificing others.